subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about the use of transforming our features into higher dimensions. So what's the use of transforming our features into higher dimensions? We'll take an example and understand that. Let's take an example. The example data set which we consider here is this is a one dimensional coordinate system and we named it as X1. On this one dimensional coordinate system, we are having some positive and negative points, positive points, positive points. In between, we are having negative points. So we discussed logistic regression and support vector machine in our previous classes. What's the goal of those two models, logistic regression and support vector machine? To identify, to separate our positive and negative class using a linear equation. That's the goal of support vector machine and logistic regression. So in one dimensional coordinate system, what's linearly separate means? Uh, in two dimensional coordinate system, we use a line for separating our positive and negative class. In three dimensional coordinate system, we use a plane for separating this positive and negative class. In higher dimensions, we use a hyperplane that separates our positive and negative classes. In the same way, in one dimensional coordinate system, we use a point. We have to identify a point that separates positive and negative classes. So it's easy to can we find a point that separates the both positive and negative class? No. You pick any point on this line. We cannot separate this positive and negative class. Means this is not linearly separable data set on one dimensional coordinate system. So what we do here is uh, we will transform our one dimensional coord data into two dimensions. What we do here is uh, let's take a function phi of x is equal to x1 x1 square. No need to take this function. You can take any function which suits to our data sets. To this data set we have picked a function called phi of x1 is equal to x1 x1 square. Means we are converting our values into x1 x1 square. We are using two dimensions now. Now we plot this data into two dimensional coordinate system. x1 on x axis, x1 square on y axis. Now our data looks like this. Now if we apply support vector machine or logistic regression on this transformed data set we can identify a line that separates the positive and negative class. So that's the use of transforming our features. Features means our input columns. That's the use of our transforming our input features into higher dimensions. Okay, let's take one more example. The example data set is uh, x1 and x2. This data set we already discussed when we discussed the logistic regression. So x1 and x2 in two dimensional coordinate system. This is a not linearly separable data set. We cannot apply support vector machine or logistic regression on this data set. So what we do here is we, can, we transform our data set into three dimensional coordinate system. So the function which we apply is phi of x1 x2 is equal to x1 square square root of 2 x1 x2 x2 square. So we converted our data into three dimensional coordinate system. So after converting our data into higher dimensions, if you plot the data, that data looks like this. Now, now after transforming to th three dimensional coordinate system, three dimensional data, if you apply support vector machine or logistic regression, so it will identify a plane that separates this positive and negative class. That's the use of transforming our data into higher dimensions. But there is a difficulty with this transformation. What's the transformation difficulty is uh, computationally costly, computationally costly. Think in a big picture, don't think in a two dimensional coordinate system. We are following an Amazon mobile data set. What's the dimensions we have in Amazon mobile data set? We are having uh, how many columns? Each column is taken in a dimension. How many columns we have? 5000 dimensions. And how many data points we have? 70,000. Uh, in most of the machine learning models, we use 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh data points. So think that computationally, if you apply some transformation function on this high 5000 dimensions, it's computationally costly. So in support vector machine, we use a method called kernels that helps us 
reducing this computational cost that is the use of support vector machine that's that's the reason why support vector machines are most popular so what's that method kernel method without this kernel method support vector machine is just like logistic regression okay what's this kernel method and how it helps us in reducing the computational cost and transforming our data into higher dimensions we will discuss that in our next class okay hope you understand the concept if you have any question regarding the concept please post your question in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you